checked in with the Story County Sheriff's Office to find out not only how they manage these procedures, but the emotions that go along with them. It's such a tough job, Roger. Yeah, it's a tough job, whether you're in the Department of Corrections, where that's a pretty extreme end of it, or even just daily dealing with uh, people on the street here in Story County. At the Story County Jail here behind me, they have a 122-bed facility with over 60, about 60 inmates in there now. Um, the incident in Anamosa has hit hard here because even though it's in different places, they do the same kind of work every day. I, I, I would start out by offering our heartfelt sympathies to the uh, family, friends, and staff members of the two that were killed earlier this week at Anamosa. Now, the way the Story County Sheriff's Department works to keep employees safe is by lots and lots of training. They also evaluate prisoners, high-risk inmates, get more people to help move them. And here, there, there is one advantage here in Nevada. Uh, the courthouse is attached to the jail, so there's less moving of prisoners in a car. But part of the training for jail staff here involves how to interact with prisoners. That's actually, I think it's almost three days part of our orientation when we have our officers when they first start that we spend with IPC, which is basically interpersonal communication, as well as uh, the inmate con game, we call it. Um, and, and basically interacting, learning things that we use to actually as we're interacting with inmates. And I'm in my 44th year in law enforcement, and I certainly know that uh, when you're working at a job for a period of time, complacency will set in, and you begin to be lax, let your guard down, and that is exactly the time when uh, tragedy will strike. Now, here in Story County, they think the events this week in Anamosa are just a reminder for everyone in law enforcement, you know, to, to, of the risks that they faced, not only in the jail, but in the field. The sheriff also recalled for me just two years, just a few years ago, 2017, Pottawatomie County, a deputy was killed uh, while transporting a prisoner. So uh, that's why they do hours and hours of training here so that officers are ready for whatever they face, Dan. Yeah, we know Story County's got a nicer, newer, safer facility than most for those folks to work in as well. Thank you, Roger Riley, reporting live in Nevada this afternoon.